Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Billy with Presenter Media, and today I'm here to talk to you about videos. We're going to look at how to get them into your presentation, where it's importing them or just downloading them with inside of a PowerPoint template. We're going to mainly look at uh, just our presenter media videos, but this applies to really any video you might have on your computer or might have got from a third party. Up on the screen, I just have one of our simple videos. It's not a customizable one text-wise. It's just you can change the color, whether it's the brightness, the saturation, or just the overall tint of the video. If you notice, there are download files, which you can download as a PPTX, a uh, Windows Movie, Windows Medium vi video, a Move file, which is an Apple format, or a Flash. All videos are 12 10, 1280 by 720 and 16 by 9. One thing to keep in note, though, when you are customized, if you do decide to change the color, is that you want to use this button right here and not these buttons. Let, let, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to download this one right here, which is an already uh, embedded video inside of a PowerPoint template and it's gonna be this video that you see right here that's all it's gonna be so we're gonna let that download and then we're gonna customize one as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna adjust and we're just gonna come up here and probably select that color and I'm gonna hit a movie move file and customize item and we're gonna let that go it's going to go through our servers and put the color together for you. And right now we're just going to talk about this one right here, or the PowerPoint template that we downloaded. Now, all our, all our videos have this option. You can download it straight into a PowerPoint template to get started. Uh, it It's very simple, very basic, but it's just to get you started. It doesn't have any other slides besides the one with the video. Now it is a 16 by 9 video, but the, the PowerPoint uh, uh, is loaded as a 4 by 3, and that's a really simple change. We, I, I just delete everything off the actual slide itself, except for what I need, and that's the video. If I can get the right box selected here. Oh. Cool. Oh, that's why. So up here at the top, you have this enable editing one. It's warning you to be careful of viruses that might become embedded in a PowerPoint presentation. You don't have to worry about that through us. We are, um, we make sure that that doesn't happen. It's just to be aware of there are other sources out there that could possibly happen. So you can hit enable editing and that'll refresh the PowerPoint slide and get you to where you, get you what you need and that's a editable PowerPoint presentation. One thing to keep in mind though, there will there sometimes can be a pop-up that won't let you open it at all when you first click on it, and that's actually just a trust setting that you need to change inside of PowerPoint. And you can find um, how to do that at on our blog here. If you go to our FAQ and go to troubleshooting, and it's our this very first one on the troubleshooting tab or troubleshooting bar, and just hit the walkthrough, and it goes through a tutorial on how to uh, do that for uh, that type of error. So, like I said, we're going to change this to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Just delete these boxes here. I'm just going to delete these ones too, just to get them out of the way for viewing reasons. And that black bar that's here on the bottom is just the background. You just go up here and change it into a solid color. I'm gonna change it to white. Go up here to design to change the size, the slide size in 16 by nine. And now you can pick it up and drag it where you want it. And there you go, perfectly sized. Now let's say you have an already, you have a presentation already built and you want to import this video inside of it so if you if you downloaded the PowerPoint template it's pretty easy let's just open up a new file here and one way that you can do that is you can import it or you can copy and paste it from one PowerPoint to another now that can be finicky if you have any transitions or anything like that already sit on it. It might not copy them over. It just depends on the copy part of it, but that's not really what we're going over in this tutorial. So, but that's, there it is. It's, it's ready to go and you can use it inside of a presentation. Another couple ways that you can get it into your presentation is you can go up here. You can hit this button right here, which will import it. You hit browse to it. Oh, we haven't downloaded one yet. Let's do that really quick. 
So I'm gonna go to my custom media, the one that we customized. Should be right here. We're gonna go download. It'll pop up here. And it's done. We're gonna go back here. And now it didn't show up. And I'm in my downloads folder. I'm using Chrome, Google Chrome for my web browsing. And it didn't show up here, but if I hit Control R, actually I gotta be inside of it. Control R. Control R. Well, that's interesting. Let's see here. Oh, it's because I'm not in my downloads folder yet. There it is. But if you hit Control R, it'll refresh your uh, screen. Refresh your, your browser window. So there it is. It's ready to go. So that's one way to import it. Then you gotta size it. Another way to import it, let's create, I'm just gonna duplicate this slide here. We're gonna delete this out of here. Delete that. Another way to import is go to insert, go over here to video, video on my PC, select the one that I want, insert, and there, that's imported. And then there's the drag and drop method, and that can be accessible through the browser, Google Chrome, or uh, it can be accessible through the File Explorer window. Now all that is is going into your file explorer, floor, explorer. That control R, that refresh I was talking about, actually can it can't be done in the save box. It has to be done in this window. So I hit control R. So there we go. Now it showed up. That's why it was beeping at me. So I wasn't able to do it that shortcut in the save as or the import window. So I drag it in here. It'll go. It'll pull it in here. It won't center it up. It'll go wherever my cursor was. The top left corner will be wherever my cursor was. And I can also do the exact same thing coming from Google Chrome from that bottom bar there. So if I bring up Google Chrome and I shrink this down and I grab this and click and drag, same thing. Um, the, up here in the format, just different options you can do. You can create different things, different styles, anything along those lines for it. You can play back here. This is where you can play it automatically when the slide loads or on click just depends on the presentation and what your needs call for. But don't forget about these two right here. It, that's where you're gonna wanna set that, those type of settings. Again, if you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you would like to see something that maybe we didn't touch on, or have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, whether it's in YouTube or on our blog. You can also contact us and find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash presentermedia. And then if you want to email us, feel free to email us at support at presentermedia.com. Thanks and have a great day.